Hello everyone, it's Kritik here from IT Rebels and in this session we will be learning about CSS and how can we build amazing website like this using CSS and HTML. HTML uh, we use HTML to build simple static website. We use a CSS to design look uh, make uh, this uh, simple website beautiful. So that's why we use CSS to make something beautiful. That's the important of CSS. So let's start with how CSS works. The CSS uh, works with uh, we use CSS using selectors and then there is some declaration like properties and value for each variations uh, for the content like if you want uh, to make something uh, some text color blue then we can use a property or name is color and its value will be blue red or anything there similarly uh, there is also known as font size we will see what is this property values uh, in later session in just few minutes but let's start with how can we use css in our html because css is not a standalone because uh, it need html so let's see how we can use css inside html let's uh, open our visual studio code editor create a new folder called then what we want uh, is to build a web page an html page so let's create an html page called index if you want uh, to know learn more about html then you can follow our previous video complete html course and its usage uh, like you can just watch this video and learn everything about html and where can we use uh, other than web development so let's continue with our css so we are using visual studio code let's oh, create a boilerplate so this is basic html boilerplate let's change this css tutorial i am using uh, a visual studio code extension called live server which will create uh, uh, environment for uh, loading our web pages uh, on in our browser but whenever we save our content it will automatically re reload it for us so that's why we are using this let's open it so as you can see there is CSS tutorial here written inside here which we which we have written here we are in the right place let's create a div 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 uh, this is a part of html and uh, every html have html tag should be uh, open and closed but there are some few exceptions break tags and horizontal row tags so the first way to add css inside html is called inline css so how can we write how can we design this div or this container so let's say uh, we style html style is equals to uh, h-e-i-g-h-t height okay control z height 100 pixels okay w-i-d-t-h width with also 100 pixels so it will make a square let's save it and same browser nothing is displaying so where is the problem because we are uh, created a container with height of 100 pixel and width of 100 pixel but we never displayed something like color or or something it will just transparent so we have to give a color here let's say b a c k background color is equals to black background color should be l a c k black so that's how we can give a color to our division 
or container so this is the way one uh, to write a CSS inside our HTML called inline in and line CSS because we are writing a CSS our CSS properties in line uh, to this element so that's why we create this is uh, a HTML comment uh, you can just comment uh, and it will never be displayed inside a browser so that's really handy and the other two ways there are more two more ways to add this type of css like the second one is internal css so to write an internal css we use style style tag the this style was the attribute we use inside uh, any tag uh, here it is a uh, dedicated uh, style tag uh, which must be included under head tag so how this works let's cop create uh, another div and remove this background color control x and give it a class so, okay let's create a class first so to create a class class is like you are naming something and then giving the, uh, th uh, those names uh, some properties like if I want my name is Kratik or my channel name is IT Rebels I T R E B E L S Rebels so my IT Rebels is like different so um, I want to make some separations so let's make a margin of margin margin 100 pixel so let's save it and see what will be happening so nothing happened because uh, in this uh, next div we have given height and width but never mentioned background color or something like let's give this background color of red because it's different already red so let's save it and nothing will have displayed here yes and why because we never mentioned something like background color or margin inside here so how can we include this remember we have created our class here in inside this style tag but never mentioned uh, about it uh, inside our division so to mention it inside our division we can just give an attribute called class 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 and then you can just give copy this copy paste and save it and let's see so it will just work like this okay that's look great now let's create okay so this is how you can write an internal css but there is one more way uh, to write a CSS so to write a CSS we can create a separate file called HTYLE style dot CSS let's save it and just copy this to see okay not completely but uh, like this control C copy it here IT rebels my name is Kritik. IT is by K R I T I K Kritik. Then we want uh, let's make this background color blue. B L U E, which is very weird color. But let's see. Let's make a new uh, division, new like new container container, and give this class. Ctrl C and paste it here. 
nothing happened because we never dis so these two are different separate files but we have to make uh, some arrangements to mention uh, this file inside our html file so how can we do that inside our head tag we can just create uh, something like link l i n k link and there is called css this is how we can write it link relation we have to mention the relation between this file and this html so this file will be a style sheet for uh, this html so relation is equal to h style sheet then href and where is the file located so the path for, of that file so it's in the same directory so that's why we have written style.css so this is how we can include our style inside our html let's see the output yes it's working so these are the three types of writing style css inside an html so let's continue with selectors okay there are different type of selectors but we majorly use simple selectors so uh, let's discuss the simple selectors whenever we want to display something so as you can see here there is a margin on left and top so how let's remove that first using our external css okay so we can just create body 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 and then we can just use margin and a r g i n margin zero pixel p a d d i n padding zero pixels we will see what is margin padding in few minutes but uh, let's see what is body here so body is an html element and we are just targeting the complete html element body name body so each html tag can be targeted as uh, inside a css uh, and it is a part of simple selector we, we are just selecting a html tag the other form we have already seen that we can create an css using a dot uh, and then some variable name so you can just and later uh, we can just call it uh, inside a C class attribute and you can create and this is also called class selectors and you can create uh, you can give multiple classes inside this class so uh, for example uh, let's say uh, we have another called box like it levels is different so let's give it a box shadow shadow s h a d o w so let's give up it a shadow this container shadow b o f shadow is equals to one zero pixels px zero px zero pixel x we will see what is this uh, in just few minutes but uh, this thing is helping us to give a box shadow for this okay so we have uh, written created a class selector uh, class with select and we never mentioned uh, inside this files where we want to put this let's copy this shadow 
and we can just give this selector here so it this class attribute can take multiple arguments here just see here example but what will happen if i just use this copy and paste remember this it table have a red color in it and this it table by kritik uh, have blue color in it so what will happen if we if i just put all three of them together so let's see so this it labels has red color in it and shadow it is okay first of all let's control x and control v okay let's continue now what will happen if this it label ha has red color and this it label has blue color so let's see what will be the result it takes blue color why because uh, anything comes uh, afterwards will take uh, will have a superior power so it will by critic uh, will overpower it levels so that's how it works in css whatever comes after will be override others so in our previous example the this it label was inside this internal css and we have written our external css above the internal css so whatever comes afterward will takes the uh, will overtake other so that's why in previous example it was red in color so that's how css class selector works now let's see there is one more type of selector called id so id must be unique and each element can only have one id two element uh, must have different ids so let's see what is id so uh, let's give an attribute called id is equals to uh, first f i r s t first element e l e element e l e m first e l e m so let's give this an id we uh, don't use id uh, very frequently inside css but we id have a huge role inside javascript because uh, we have to target a specific element so id uh, is be is something like which is unique for an element that's why we use uh, id in our html so we can just target id uh, to do something like uh, hashtag is for id just like dot is for class and then we can just copy this first element and give it here and control it and what should we do let's say border b o r d a border radius what 50 percent 50 percent okay let's see how it will be looking okay so as you can see this is now rounded first element so that's how we can use uh, id selector class selector and we must uh, call them inside this so how to write comment inside css so inside a css we can write comments like uh, if you want to make something like this is a third element so uh, we can just separate uh, like section wise we can separate different things like this is a third a third element let uh, imagine uh, this is a section called about us so we can just separate it uh, a b o u t about us and then a b o u t 
about us and then you can just comment it out. I used control and backslash to uh, comment it. So you can just copy uh, use this backslash star uh, then content uh, star and backslash. So this is how comment works in CSS and it will never be displayed inside our web pages. Uh, why we should use internal inline or external CSS. So whenever we want something to be just for this element, just for one element, we can use uh, inter inline CSS but uh, whenever we want uh, to make uh, changes in a single page so then we must use internal css because uh, we can just use uh, change one for a page and it will not affect the other pages and we can write separate individuals and subsets of css inside this you know, internal css uh, but what here we in external css we can write uh, global css like we as we can target our bodies mm, you can also target your bodies using internal css but but why should we repeat code uh, just write once and you call this css uh, anywhere in, in your website so that's how this external css works just create a se separate files write your css and call it everywhere internal css is like uh, specific uh, a separate specific uh, styles for a separate pages in this way you can differentiate where to use what 